Hi, I am Mama Eve, and I just wanted to say thank you for all of those that have inquired about the expo. The expo that will be held October the 29th and the 30th, 2021, at the Comfort Interlock Raven, Maryland. So, if you need room booked for the one day, the two day, just check the link below. We made it so, so easy for you to get a discount. And we finally have tickets. The tickets have been printed out and ready for you to, to get them. All right, so we have all types of tickets. So you can get a one-day pass. You can get a two-day pass. You can get an all-inclusive, or you can just come to the ball. Either way, just hurry up and get your tickets. Now, if you mention Mama 10, I will give you 10% off your all exclusive two day ticket. They're not costly at all and we are going to have such a ball. And speaking of ball, we are going to have a time that Saturday night at the costume ball or the masquerade party. So, put it on your calendar. Make plans. If you have any other questions, just give me a call or go on my comments or you can go on my Facebook and I'll make sure that you have the information that you need it. And I'm still looking for a few more vendors. I put it in the atmosphere and I know how many I'm looking for and I'm this close. So if you want to be a vendor, just let me know. Finally, uh, I want to tell you about two personal things. Number one, I have a cell phone number now. So you can personally call me uh, on a cell phone and we can exchange um, pictures and we can do some FaceTiming. So now you can get readings, FaceTime. So I want to give you that number. That number is 667 two nine four oh two seven four also I'm going to try to keep it in district in the um, descriptions if I can and for all those that have been so generous and have reached out I now have a PO box I am so excited because now you can send me pictures of yourself if I need certain items, you can send it to me that way. And I want to give you that address. It is, of course, Mama Eve, P.O. Box 24728, Middle River, Maryland, 21220. Well, I done took enough of your time up. So just prepare to see my next video. And you just have a great day. Kisses! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mama Eve, and today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But once more important, today is your day. Today I have a special request video that I want to to do. Now, this video been requested for a minute y'all, but I had to see if I really wanted to show you how to do this working. So after much thinking about it, I decided let's just go for it. So Mama is going to be Cut, helping you to cut some cords today. So, why, who may benefit from this working? If you was in a toxic relationship and you're now out of it, or maybe you're still in it and you're trying to get out of it, but it just seemed like it's just so impossible, this may be the working for you to do. Or maybe you just cannot get this negative 
person or this person that had this negative energy out of your mind and out of your heart and out of your spirit this may be the working for you now not only is this working good for relationships but relationships of all kind you may just have that friend that had turned toxic time to go time to cut the cords of your relationship and that's the only way that you're going to start healing because as far as memories if you continue to have negative memories then you're going to be stuck and mama don't want any of her honey bunnies stuck this is a very very simple working uh, grab your paper and your pen I'm going to give you some items that you're going to need and before I forget, because y'all know how mama is, I just start running my mouth and I might just forget to tell you. You can get this kit. It's going to be available on my Etsy shop. All right, so let's get started. You're going to need 12 black candles. 12 black candles. Now, you can, this is a household candle. So for this video, I chose household candles, but you also can use penny candles. And you're going to need one white candle. So if you are using, let me put a little bit of incense in, y'all. And I'm going to send you this incense too when you get the kit. So when you, uh, if you use households, then it needs to be the same. So don't use two households in one jumbo. So even if you're using penny candles, use the blacks and the white, the same, same kind of candle. All right. Now you're going to need a cord. This is 36 inches. So you're going to need 36 inches inch cord now it doesn't have to be this thick it could be thin you can use yarn if you cannot get it don't panic twine you can use twine but I do not want it to be red so it could be like this tan color white or black the most important thing it must be 36 inches now you're going to need two pieces of brown paper for this working no substitutes I don't want you to use white I don't want you to use blue I don't want you to use parchment paper listen you can never go wrong with that grocery store bag right so you're going to make two squares and you'll need a paper hole puncher because you're going to need a way to put holes in the two of them like this. And you're going to have some strength. So you need about, let's see, this is about seven inches of twine that you're going to need. You're going to need two pieces because I need one. I need you to have one in this hole and one in this hole. And another thing, I'm making, this is cord cutting soap. You will need this soap. Even if you do not get the kit from me, I want you to try your best to get a bar of this soap that I made. All right, and I'm gonna tell you, it's, it is not this is not hard working right so the first thing you do you have your cord which is 36 inches you're going to have to have a place where every day you can stretch out your cord and I'm just hoping that you can see this All right so 36 I want you to mark off two 
inches starting from the end okay so I don't know if you can see this but we use a white um, permanent marker so every two inches you'll see a light spot I even did the same for the cord this is a little harder but every two inches so you go to once you do that I want you to mark off 18 inches which would be the half of this cord now on the half of the cord you have two marks on each side of the mark I want you to tie the twine but before you do it I want you to put your name on one piece of paper and whoever you're trying to release yourself from put their name whether that's a lover a, a friend an ex-friend whoever it is you put their name on the other piece of paper please do not put both names on both pieces of paper all right so it's going to look sort of like this my name his name her name her name his name his name just the two different names now i'm going to give you something to recite at the end so now this is the part that i want you to do correctly but before I show you this I do want to I'm going to give you the um, prayer or the petition that I came up with and it will be easier for me to show you how to do the next step are you ready it says I cut the cord that binds us I free myself from the random thoughts that invade my mind. I let go of the connection that we once shared within my heart. I heal myself of the dark negative energies that flowed. Sending this total connection to my higher power, which is greater than myself. That is what I want you to write down because this working is not going to work unless you say this petition or you make up one that you feel is more fitting to your situation. Now, I want you to start your two candles but before you start your candles you remember you always cleanse your candles you're going to put your name on one candle and the other person's name or you know what it don't even really have to be a person it may be a situation you may want to cut vines from an old job but whatever that name is goes in the other on the other candle right so my name is going to be on this right candle and my ex-friend is going to be on the left candle right so day one because this is a seven day ritual seven the number of completion all right so day one i want you to burn these candles you go to the last marks which should be two inches from the end you would recite this prayer or this petition you would light your candle that's day one day two you would bring the candles in two more inches 
you would do the same thing all the way to day six. Now, this is the important thing because on day six, you just need one candle. And it should be right between these two papers. You are going to recite this petition. Got it? You're going to light this candle. When this candle burns out, whether it's the household or the penny candle, then, what you're going to do, you are going to recite this one more time. And you're actually going to cut this cord. Once you cut this cord, you will separate this cord. And you will throw it away in two different places. If you don't want anybody to know what names is put on this paper, it's a simple solution. Cut the papers off. Burn the papers to ashes. Do not put both of the papers. You will have to do it separately. So the right side with my name and my right side of my cord will go together. The left side of the cord and the left paper will go together. Got that? So I'm going to take, if I'm going to burn my ashes, I'm going to take the ashes and I'm going to put it on the cord. If I'm going to burn the ashes on the left side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to burn them. Now you can also use banishing Banishing oil on your cord. You do not have to. But I'm going to, in the kit, I'm going to include the banishing oil. So you would, on the Sabbath day now, you're going to put the ashes, if you're going to burn your paper and the oil, I'm going to discard of this cord to separate places if i but not in your home one cannot be in your home so one may be down the street around the corner and the other one may be down the street three corners away just get rid of the court last step of this working remember the soap you have just completed this working you completed it everything been burnt if you have wax you can save the wax and we if, if it's the right side of wax that you've been collecting though all of that you can put all you can even put all of that in a brown paper bag you can do that but when you finish at the end of the day if you can I want you to use this cord cutting soap that I make it is made out of a very special ingredient and I'm going to tell you the secret I know some people say why are you always telling your secrets mama because I want to help you I'm adding black walnut hulls in this soap why black walnut black walnut hulls help get rid of parasites I use it all the time in my detox help get rid it helps rid the body of negative things that's not supposed to be there all right so we're gonna flip that to the spiritual so the soap that I'm going to be giving you that's one ingredient now I'm not going to tell you everything but I will tell you that it's going to have black walnut holes in there and you are to cleanse whether it's in the bath or the shower. Listen, I don't even care. Wash your hands with it. That's what you can do. I just need you to apply this soap. 
because we want to get rid of any residue that may be holding you captive and you need to be set free so i hope that this has not been too difficult the kit you'll get the 12 black candles you'll get the one white candle you'll get the soap you'll get the incense you'll get the cord so only thing you need is scissors and a way to put your hole in your paper and i wish i could send you paper hole punches but they're cheap just go to the dollar store and get it all right so it's been a good day it's been a great day but most of all, don't y'all forget to subscribe. And I thank all of my new subscribers. Every subscriber, I know who you are. I even know when you subscribe. And I appreciate you. But I can't leave out my old subscribers that I appreciate. So, y'all get ready for this expo. Don't wait to the last minute to get your tickets. Because once they're gone, they're gone. And you just go out and have a good, victorious day today. And know that you are all Mama's Honey Bun. If you like it, just give me some thumbs up. And ring the notification bell for the next video. And I can't wait to spiritually see you, you, and you. Kisses! Yep.